These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS3 tutorial today for CFW or jailbroken console users. And I'm using Rebug 4.80.1 Dex, and I'm going to show you my method of playing online. Now, granted, I cannot um, give you 100% guarantee that this is going to prevent you from being banned, but it will definitely minimize the risk of being banned. And, of course, the best way of not being banned is don't play your CFW online. So with that said, let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm going to log into my local account, and there's a special method that I like to do. Uh, most people may do it different ways, but let me show you how I do it and it might make things a little bit easier for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to Rebug Toolbox and I'm going to show you a particular setting that I want you to make note of and then we'll go to my computer and do some stuff there and then we'll go back to the PS3 and have a lot of good times here. So here's my Rebug Toolbox. We see that I'm clearly uh, 4.80.1 DEX for level 2 kernel and target type. Great. So what I want you to remember is go to to the very far right to utilities and then scroll all the way down to change active PS3 ID and remember what this says so in my particular case on my USA console um, EID 584 so I want to make sure that I remember this 84 number because we're going to use that and modify the PS ID in the webman tools and I'll show you how that works so I'm 84 and then for your console it might be something different if it is, so to remember what that number is, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main menu X and B screen, and let's just recap what my particular IP address is for this console. So, once we're back at the dashboard, we take a look at the lower bottom right hand corner, we see that my IP address is 192.168.1.132, so I'm going to make note of that, and then what we're going to do real quick here is let's go to my computer and I'm going to log in through my browser into the webman mod and show you this modification that should make your life much easier and simpler when you want to play online. Let's do this. All right, so once you're on your computer or laptop, what you want to do is go ahead, bring up your favorite web browser and type in your PS3 IP address. So I'm going to go into my Google Chrome real quick here and let's type in my IP address on my PS3, which just happened to be 192.168.1.132. Enter. Once that has loaded, you're going to see another Webman mod screen similar to this one. And let me show you the setup that I do. So I go to setup here. Um, you want to mimic my settings, by all means, go ahead. What I like to do by default is I load or check the load last played game on startup. And then down here is where the magic happens. Now, I've changed some of the numbers around to make it easier for video demonstration, but this is not my real ID. This is just for example purposes. But what you want to do is go ahead, check these two boxes, okay, check those. And now, on your first box right here for your IDPS value, in my particular case, I had something in the middle. Look in the middle of your number string. You're going to have something like 82. For me, it was 82. It might be some similar number for you. And what we're going to do is change that 82 value to 84, which is what my EID5 was on that Rebug Toolbox. Once you have done that particular change, like I said, for your console, it might be a different value for your console depending on what region you are in. But nonetheless, go ahead, change that two digits to the correct value. In my case, I went from 82, 84. I'm a USA console. Click these two boxes here. That's it. Go down here and click on Save. And then that should save it. And then... Just for a good measure, you can go ahead and restart your console. And then what we're going to do is we're done on the, on the computer or the laptop. Go back to your PS3, and I'll show you how to complete the online game playing process. So with that said, let's go to the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we're back in my PS3. To help save some time, I've decided to uh, remember we restarted the PS3, and that task that we just did on the computer with changing ID, you only have to do it one time. So once you turn on your console, this is what you would do. Go ahead, load your game using Webman Mod or you can use Multiman. So let me go ahead and just load an example game uh, for my game list here. Let's go ahead. Let's just say oh, Black Ops 2. Why not? So we're going to load Black Ops 2. We're loading it from my external hard drive, in this particular case, using Multiman. And then it's going to kick me out back to the main dashboard. Once we're at the main dashboard or the X and B screen, this is what you would do next. So let's assume you already got your game mounted, or maybe it's a game disc, whatever method you're going to do. So here's my game. Before we sign in online, we're going to run PS Ninja. Now, some people say this is optional. I'm just going to do it. It doesn't add 
too much more steps to the process. Like I said, if you're going to get banned, might as well do everything you can before you get banned anyways, right? So you run PS Ninja. We're going to take the top three options, wipe history, replace history, make history read only, go to exit. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to run the PSN patch, and we're going to do a shortcut method by just holding down X when we highlight the program. So let's go to PSN patch, and right here, and then you just go ahead, press and hold X until you hear the beep. Come on. All right, we're good. Now you can go ahead. You can either load your game now and then sign into PSN, or you can sign into PSN now and then load your game second. It doesn't really matter, but for example purposes, um, I'm not going to log to the game. That's going to take a while, so let's go ahead and just sign in. So I'm going to sign in. Sign in manually, and then momentarily we'll be logged in. And that takes care, this process takes care of your history files, your CFW syscalls and disabling those. Now you can go ahead and start your game right here and you're good to go. And then log in online and just play as normal. Now if you're into game modding, uh, make sure you get those anti-ban e-boots. You don't want to get yourself banned or at least minimize your chances of getting banned. And uh, that's my only tip for you guys. So that is today's video game tutorial, how to take your PS3 DEX console online that's my method if you have other methods you guys have by all means share it in the youtube comments and let's learn together so you guys have any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on the youtube page or i'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye